I think my father, Rex Thomas, was murdered. In August 2014, my father was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. He went to the hospital on December the 23rd and was transferred to the ICU four days later. By January the 5th, my father was dead. The day after my father died, we found a note that he left for us in his Book of Mormon. The note literally said, my primary care nurse is forcing me to take fentanyl despite my oxygen saturation being at 72%. Fentanyl lowers oxygen saturation. I think she may be trying to kill me. And he signed and dated it and put the time. When I read my father's note, I was in shock and it did not seem real. My father said he thought someone was trying to kill him, and six hours later, he was dead. I know my father was murdered, and I want justice. Well, Amanda claims there has been a huge cover-up at the hospital. She says her father was an award-winning 28-year emergency room nurse himself, and she claims he knew exactly what the hospital was doing to him, and she says she will not stop until someone is held accountable. She says she took her evidence to the police and the DA and even knocked on the doors of the malpractice legal clerk, Aaron Brockovich, and Michael Jackson's family attorney, and no one would listen. Now, her mother, Sandy, says her daughter has become so obsessed these past two years with making someone pay that her own life is suffering. I have at least 450 pages regarding my father. Amanda's only concern in life is to get justice for Rex. Since my father died, every minute of every day is about working on his case all the time. I know it backwards and forwards because I've gone through it day in and day out for over two years now. This has become my life. Whenever any of her friends did call, the conversation always wound up talking about her dad and the death and the hospital and she would cry and get really upset and angry. I would be at work and Amanda would call me just hysterically screaming, hard to understand. Amanda was so hysterical she couldn't hold a job. I haven't been able to keep a job because I've been looking for a job that allows me to investigate the way that I need to. These are the really relevant pages. Before Rex died, she loved to go out and karaoke and meet people and dance. She used to really want to get her degree and she had goals and then all of a sudden, it was nothing. It's like this is written in my DNA now. I believe that somebody in the hospital killed my father. I won't stop fighting for my father until I get all the answers.